SCP-3062 is called an entity residing in the Sahara, which I imagine is the desert that they're referring to. I'm not really sure what this is all about, but it's by Dr. Cat and I love his animations. Guys, make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too, and let's get into this one. It took them a long time to find you, I said to the near catatonic girl who was hugging her knees as Detective she perched on the metal cop? slab. The girl didn't respond. Her lips were cracked and dry, and her mm. blonde hair matted and disheveled. Uh, Occasionally, desert. she made a noise, something like a whimper. I okay. need to ask you some questions. Can you nod if you understand, please? She locked eyes with me, slowly lifting she her head scared. to reveal a gaunt, sullen face. It made Give sense. Give her some water. If she was who the Foundation thought she was, then she had spent almost three weeks wandering the Saharan desert. Oh my gosh. She maintained eye contact for a it's short time entity, before nodding solemnly, says, so. <laughs> struggling to support the weight of her own head with her slender neck. Wow. The effects of starvation were prominent and ghastly. What were you doing in the desert? Why, I began. why do you not uh, have her in the hospital? Tour, she rasped after or a the few medical moments. Care. I swallowed the urge to comment on just how bad she looked as I turned Tour. over the photograph on the table in front of me. It Some showed a healthy, smiling blonde girl on holiday with her friends. Well, if she's been when away the for agents weeks. extracted the young woman in front of me from the desert, they were fairly certain that she was the missing tourist but couldn't make a positive uh, identification due to her okay. poor physical condition. So they were just doing some tourism. Is it her name Allison she Manning? Got she nodded again as a slow tear Allison. crept down her cheek. The moisture highlighted her burnt and peeling skin. Oh my god. It was the type of sunburn that was going to need medical attention. Oh yeah. Although I'm sure that was the last ailment on the foundation medics list as they checked her over at the point of extraction. I don't know, they could do yeah, I mean, Allison dehydration, Manning had last all been that seen on a guided very, very camel tour bad. of the Egyptian portion of the Sahara Desert. A camel tour. Her friend said she wandered off to find somewhere to relieve herself <laughs> and was never seen again. The Foundation had a difficult time keeping Egyptian authorities away from the highly publicized situation. Oh, yeah, Multiple operatives were sent out to the desert on a high-risk mission, posing as search and rescue officers mm -hmm. sent by the American Embassy. <laughs> but they were all SCP ID Foundation. Card, the Foundation's Information, Detraction, Censorship, and Rescission Division worked overtime to minimize the chance of the public becoming aware of the anomaly we accredited Allison's disappearance to. Okay. SCP-3062, which is why a we're dangerous here. and poorly understood Keter class object. So she's not the I anomaly; he is, to or it and is. Assess the victim. I know you left the group to try and find a place to urinate. Why didn't you return? <laughs> the girl took a while to respond. She removed her arms from her knees and stretched her legs out, maneuvering herself into a seated position on the slab. It was as if she were struggling to remember back that far. Despite right. only 20 days having passed. I mean, finally, she she's opened dehydrated her mouth to speak. and sunburned. Boy, he needed help. Gotta I got some tricks on your mind. Her words confirmed your what we already in that knew. Kind of shape, you know? But hearing of sightings of SCP 3062 always made me shudder. I couldn't begin to imagine what horrors Allison had witnessed in her time wandering. So she saw a boy, is what she 3062 said. often appeared first as a young Egyptian boy in his early 20s. Okay. Other victims had also reported him being in some distress. Okay. I'd interviewed a few of them, but none who had been out there with the object for as long as Allison Manning. Oh, wow. For her to have survived for that length of time made her something of an anomaly herself. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you go back to your group to get help? I... I don't know. Nothing made sense, she replied, mm. tears now rolling freely. He spoke English. He told me he had a camp nearby and could call his family from there. Mm. But he'd hurt his ankle and couldn't walk to it. Uh, I told him I was with the so group and kinda lured he said her the in. tour went by his camp, but he knew a shortcut. He said they'd catch up with me there. Mm. I know I shouldn't have gone. It wasn't my first time traveling. I knew it was stupid. Yeah, why would you go with a but stranger? Something about him was so magnetic. So it's something like Did you a make it to the camp? Hypnosis or no. charming? There was no camp, she responded, mm -hmm. shaking as she spoke. So what happened? We kept walking. He just kept reassuring me we weren't far. Hmm. After a few hours, all I could see was sand for miles. So he just takes people out so to the thirsty. middle of the desert? She reached into the briefcase I carried everywhere and handed her a bottle of water. 
She'd inhaled the entire thing in seconds. You could have gave her that, like, 20 photograph? of those, man. I turned over another picture on the table that had lay face down next to the one of her before I know, her disappearance. 20 bottles of water will probably kill it. It was sent from her phone to a friend's 18 hours after she went missing. The girl got wow. up, struggling on her scrawny legs. Through her torn vest top, you could see the front outline of her ribs. Uh-huh. I never knew if that sent. 20 days. I lost my phone after that. 20 she days, said, man. As she edged closer before finally gasping as she looked at the image. No. She wailed. I saw it. I saw it. What did you see? I saw it. She continued to repeat those three words Just as elaborate. her body tensed and she stamped her feet on the floor in frustration. The image showed the very tip of her foot uh -huh. and nothing else but sand. Right. What did you think you captured in this photo? I asked clearly, cutting through her distressing chanting. I knew that a common phenomenon reported by those who had survived contact with SCP-3062 was seeing sources of water where water. signs that help was nearby. Ah. The anomaly liked to taunt its victims. Why, however, is a question the Foundation is still asking. Hmm. The girl took a few deep breaths and steadied her hands. I don't know how long it had been, but when it started to get dark and cold, the boy was gone. Hmm. It was like I turned my back for a few seconds and teleported away while I wasn't looking. So, he just that's all it does anymore. is bring you out into the desert I and keep walking. giving you ideas I had that to. you're going to see water or so cold. a camp or something like I that. I wasn't dressed to be out there and for then long. You're stuck. I thought for sure I was going to die that night. Wow. And I thought for sure I could hear that damn boy. Imagine Laughing going pee and having wind. this happen to you, y'all. <laughs> that but sucks. I survived. The sun rose as just as my ankles were ready to snap, I saw the spring. A spring. Fresh water. Mirage. In the middle of the desert. Mirage. I cleared my throat, <laughs> making it clear to her that I needed to interject. Mm -hmm. You'd been through quite the trauma. It's not uncommon for people's minds to play tricks on them alone outside. Right. This was real, she spat hmm, firmly, okay. with the most energy she displayed the entire time. <laughs> Whatever you say, sweetheart. It. I drank oh. from it for ages. Then I noticed the sign, wooden with Egyptian writing on it. Hmm. People had been out there. I took my phone out to try and call for Maybe help. Maybe it was not a mirage, I've that's why she so survived. I checked so many times before, but had no single. But this time, there was a bar. Maybe Only she one, did have but it was there. Mirage. Hmm. It was enough to dial out. So I took a picture she took of the a spring picture, but it's and not sent it. it to Jody. So it was a mirage. I thought they could locate me from it. Mm -hmm. I pushed the almost blank, sandy photograph towards Sand. her. She sniffed back tears and looked at me with anger in her eyes. You were eyes. tripping, baby girl. I wasn't hallucinating. You weren't not hallucinating. That. I drank from it. And that's how I survived for a few days. Mm. I stayed there, waiting. I shivered as night fell and sweated in the blistering heat of the day. No one came, did they? Nope. I pitied the girl. SCP-3062 was so cruel. He'd manifested an entire facade of their being hoped for. Mm. He'd given her just enough to keep her alive. Wow. I believe sheer willpower and object-induced delusion kept Allison going in those weeks. Hmm. They did. Jody came. Three dark nights passed and wow. Jody came. I didn't Even notice her arrive, her friends but I knew come. by that point it was unlikely she were any more than a figment of my desperate imagination. Mm -hmm. You so knew she, she, she was real? starting to realize she wasn't real. Correct. But the boy was. Yeah. The boy came back, I asked, trying to stifle the audible shock in my voice. It was unusual for the apparition of the boy to return to a victim of SCP-3062 once All it had right. moved on to the stage where it was manifesting loved ones and simulating uh, rescue scenarios for its unfortunate prey. I see. The object could bend reality, making it omnipresent and rendering its human-like form unnecessary once it had isolated So it was a reality bender, so she was really getting water. And taunting was personal. <laughs> he never left. Hmm. I could hear him all the time at first, but I just tried to block it out. Interesting. Once Jody left How again, cruel though, right? I started to see him. How bored do you, you have out to there be for 20 days? as a reality bender? What happened? Just to screw How with one he person working? over and over again in the middle How did of you the survive? desert. Like... Behind her deep sunburn, the girl turned pale. I was overwhelming her with questions, but I had to know what she'd seen. 
Her insights could have proven far more valuable than the other victims I'd interviewed. Her eyes welled with tears once more, and she came closer to the table I sat at. It couldn't have been that long. I was counting the sunrises. There were only six! Mm -hmm. She screeched, so close my ears rang as her deafening tone hit them. As I said before, you've been through a trauma. All of this is normal. What you saw was just your mind's version of self-preservation. Mm -hmm. It's a normal human response. Lies, Lies, she interrupted, no. <laughs> bellowing so her voice echoed in a remote hidden It's gotta be in the very frustrating hearing people telling you something I was thrown that into turmoil as I realized right? what I had to do. SCP-3062 was an object that the Foundation had been unable to contain in the traditional sense. We worked hard on recovery, ensuring that missing individuals in the Sahara are tracked swiftly and with mm -hmm. as little publicity as possible. But in all honesty, it was more damage control than prevention. Right. Some victims were easily convinced of their own madness, a result of their disorientation in the wilderness. But others, like Allison Manning, knew there was more to what they'd seen. Mm -hmm. Those victims had to be subjected to amnestics. Yep. I didn't like administering amnestics. Probably Removing best a part like of that. someone's memory often felt wrong. Yeah, but, but as I looked at the disturbed girl, I, don't I know. decided that on this occasion, it was probably the kindest option. Yep. I reached into my briefcase to pull out the amnestic device, but Allison's anger was growing. Uh oh. She walked towards me and started to wail, drawing my attention as I continued to rifle through the bag. What is this place anyway? You aren't the police or search and rescue. <laughs> what was that boy? <laughs> my breathing grew quicker. You and better I hit her. You quicker, better hit her with it quick. Realizing Allison had just become a high risk of leaking information about mm -hmm. 3602 to the general public if Bro, I didn't she's act She's dehydrated. Quickly. I carried Just on searching, but couldn't find the device I was looking for. She can't she keep up on, with you right closer. now. She's been through an ordeal. Although she was even slender with and fragile looking, there was something intimidating about the unbridled anger in her eyes. Aww. As she approached Put me, she became sleep savage, old. outstretching her arms to attack. I watched as the pupils of her eyes grew so large they overtook the iris. Oh, unless that has no something to do with the SCP. No one had been in 3602's presence as long as she had, and the results were fascinating. Uh-oh. My heart sunk and I felt my own eyes begin to glaze with tears as I realized there was only one solution to her imminent attack. Without research, any kinder method <laughs> would have risked my safety and the security of the Foundation. Knock out! So I drew my gun from its leg holster and shot her. Oh! As blood poured from the wound in her forehead and she collapsed to the floor. Why would her you Her eyes returned to normal her? and I watched as the light faded from them. Just before she took her final wheezing breath, an expression came over her face and her entire being began to morph into something else. Oh! There was barely a transition, and the vision only lasted a few seconds before returning to that of the dead girl. But for a moment, so she was possessed in Allison's by the place entity. was a young Egyptian boy. Mm -hmm. SCP-3062. Bruh. I'm sorry, I don't like the way that ended at all. She was a frail, dehydrated, tired, female that had just been through trauma even with adrenaline she would have been easily overpowered by a man especially one trained at the scp foundation why shoot her in the head cold cock her out man god dang it that's drastic very interesting scp though guys dr cat make sure to subscribe to him subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too thanks so much for watching as always this is Logan signing off we'll see you next time